Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use rich text formatting in your Microsoft Access forms and reports. So you can do color changes and use fonts and all that cool stuff. Today's question comes from Heath in Price, Utah, one of my Platinum members. Heath says, I'm using your letter writer database from a previous Tech Help to send correspondence to my customers. It's very useful. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any way I can add formatted text to the report, kind of like how you can format text in Microsoft Word? It'd be nice to add some color, change the font, bold, and things like that. Well, of course you can, Heath. All you have to do is use rich text for your field and for your formatting for your text boxes, and let me show you how to do it. If you have not yet watched my Letter Writer Tech Help video, go watch that first so you understand what's going on in this video. It's free, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel, go find it, go watch it. That, that one's got some prerequisites too, so make sure you understand everything. Go, go do that and then come back here. What are you still waiting for? Go do it, go. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So here's a copy of the Letter Writer database that we built in the last video. If you haven't built it, well, go build it. Uh, gold members, you can download this from the website, of course. Here's the customer form. You go to contacts, you type in whatever you want your contact to be. Down here is where you've put your letter and then you hit print report and up comes the report that you can then print out. You can email it if you want to. It'll load up in Outlook. There it is. Comes in as a PDF attachment, right? You can drop this down and open it if you want to. There it is all nice and pretty, but this text is kind of bland. Yeah, it's just regular text. You wanna add some color, make things pop, right? Change the font. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert our notes field over to rich text formatting. So go to the contact table, right click, design view, find the notes field, it's a long text. And right down here, change text format from plain text to rich text, the only two options. Now when you do this, it's going to say the field will be converted to rich text and the data it contains will be HTML encoded. If you don't know what HTML is, it's the language of the web, hypertext markup language. Puts little codes around things like a B for bold and stuff like that. Okay, just hit yes. All right, save your table. Now, if you go back now into the contact form, you'll see all these little codes in here. BR is line break. Okay, it puts little things in your little HTML codes. Now, you can't use every HTML code. Okay, you can't put things like, uh, like spans and all kinds of weird things in here. You can't put hyperlinks and stuff like that. So it doesn't use every HTML code, but enough of them so you can get some color formatting. Now, you want to display this box also as rich text. So we're going to right click, we're going to design view, open up the text box properties, change on the data tab, not this format out here. You want to go to data and change text format, two different ones. Okay, change that to rich text. Save it, close it, close it. Now open it back up again. Now, Notice the BR tags and all that are gone. When you select some text, you'll get this little quick toolbar that pops up. You can change the color, you can make it bold, you can change the font, you can change the font size. You get a lot of different options in here. You get you know bulleted numbers, numbered lists, change this kind of stuff, right? Highlighting, all right, $55, select that. You can make that bold, all right, make it bigger. All right, whatever you wanna do, whatever's on that menu. Okay. All right. Now, when you go to print your report, you'll see, oh, wait a minute. We got tags in here too. So guess what we got to do? Right click, design view. Where are you? Design view. All right. Let's find the notes field here. Open it up. Text format to rich text. Save it. Close it. Close it. And now, there you go. Now you got color formatted reports as well. Okay. I cover a lot more with this letter writer in my Access Expert Level 5 class. We build a full featured letter writer, and then in Access Expert 6, I show you how to turn it into doing mass mailings. You can send out collection letters to everybody in your database that has overdue invoices. Or you can set up lead sources, right? That's Access Expert 5 and 6. Now, there might come a time when you might want to send this information to somebody without that color formatting in it. 
For example, what if you're going to export this as a CSV file or send someone you know, a text file? When you start an export, look at that. You're going to get the little div marks and all kinds of formatting in that field. You might not want that if you're sending this as a text file. So how do you get rid of those codes just in this instance? Well, I'll show you that in the extended cut for the members. And members also get access to the extended cut for the previous letter writer video where I add this thing down here where you can add little segments or even full blocks of text to put in your letters. See that? I just put thank you as a closing. But you can add, let's say you're adding a new one for this person, right? All right, you can go in here and say, give me a whole new election letter. Boom. And it even puts in the codes. Let's see here, where's the template? All right, it even puts codes in like dear first name, balance due, and so on. And we merge those in. That's in the extended cut for the original letter writer video, which you also get access to. You get access to all the extended cut videos once you become a member. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.